In this problem, we're told the spring with k equals 63 newton meters hangs vertically next to a ruler. The end of the spring is next to the 15 centimeter mark on the ruler. If a 2.5 kilogram mass is now attached to the end of the spring, where will the end of the spring line up with the ruler marks? So let's go ahead and draw what's going on here. So imagine this thing right here is going to be our ruler. And so if we have a bunch of different marks, right? So imagine this is the beginning of the ruler. This is the end. Uh, you can label it however you want. But essentially, we just want to say the bottom of our spring is going to be and this is going to be to scale either, but this right here is going to be 15, right? We'll say this is 15 centimeters, right? So we have this spring. It's going to hang. And right now it's at the 15 centimeter mark. So let me actually redraw it. So here's our spring. And then at the bottom of the spring, it's going to have a mass hanging off. So this is the mass. And so we're going to say, or they tell us that the mass is going to be equal to 2.5 kilograms. So we have this spring hanging off, right? Let's also write down what we're given besides this. So we're also told that K, right, the spring constant, is equal to 63 Newton meters. So the way we're going to want to solve this, right, we're trying to find where it's going to end up. So somehow this mass is going to cause the spring to go down, and it's going to end up at some mark, right? We don't know what that is. That's what we're trying to find. And so the way we're going to use this is by using Hooke's Law. So Hooke's Law tells us the formula that F of X, which is the force, is equal to KX, right? And so keep in mind we do know K, and then X is just the distance that it stretches. So what we're trying to do here is if we can solve for x, that's going to be the difference it stretches. And then we can just add that number to 15, and that's going to be the total distance it goes down, right? Where it's going to end up on the ruler. So in order to solve for x, we have k, but we need to solve, or we need to find f of x. So what's f of x? It's just the force on our spring, right? So what is the force going to be acting on our spring? So we know that it's going to have mg, which is just the force due to gravity, right? So that's going to be the force acting on it. And so we know M, we know the mass, right? And we know G, so that's going to be the force, right? So the force is going to be equal to mg. So really, it's just mg equals kx. And so if we just plug it in, right? We know all these numbers. We can solve for x. So m is 2.5. And then g is going to be 9.8, right? Just gravity equals k, which is 63. And then multiply by x. So if we want to solve for x, just divide both sides by 63. So essentially, if you do 2.5 times 9.8, you're going to get 24.5, and then divide by 63. So if you go ahead and do that, you're going to get uh, you're going to get x, right? And so x is going to be equal to 0.3888, and so on. I'm going to go ahead and round it to 0.39. So really, it's just 0.39. But keep in mind when you solve this, it's in meters, right? So 0.39 meters. But notice how our ruler is in uh, centimeters. So we have to convert this into centimeters. Uh, so what this is essentially it's going to be 39, right? Because 0.39 meters, there's 100 centimeters per meter, right? So just do 100 times 0.39. It's going to be 39 centimeters. So really, the distance it's going to stretch is 39 centimeters. So if I hear it's at 15, right? But it's going to stretch another 39. So if we just take 15, right, plus 39, you're going to go ahead and get it where it's at, right? Which is just 54. So the spring is going to go all the way down to 54 centimeters. So I don't know exactly how your teacher wants you to write it. They might want it in meters, right? So 54 centimeters is the same thing as 0.54 meters. So however your teacher wants you to do it, 0.54 meters or 54 centimeters, yeah, both of these values are going to work. And so yeah, this is going to be how you solve this problem. And hopefully you found this video useful.